This is, for me, the line in the sand because this is somebody who has consistently risked it all. He has consistently been right. He was consistently praised for it until all of a sudden he's done it with the wrong people. Hit the notification bell, uh, join Mug Clip so you can get the show every single uh, every day, 45 minutes, lotoscutter.com slash mug clip. It's $99 for the year. You get this hand dash mug, 69 if you're a student veteran active military. Uh, okay, so let me ask you guys a question. When it comes to free speech, when it comes to comedy, as we'll discuss in this case, when it comes to how far you'll let the progressive agenda be pushed, what's what's your line in the sand? The line where you go from a conversation to you know showing them your war face. Comment below. I want for me, actually, certainly with comedy, it's Norm McDonald. So let me explain. Yeah. Hashtag I'm with Norm. Uh, obviously, if yeah. you haven't been following this, the left picked their latest target. They successfully protested Norm to the point that he was canceled uh, from The Tonight Show. And it, it, to be fair, he then said that he actually withdrew because everyone was crying and Fallon came back. He did an interview with Howard Stern, was very tactful. That's beside the point. <laughs> this is why there was the, the, the outrage in the first place. I think yeah. that's what's most important. You know, Marley was dead to begin with. His comment was, you know, I'm happy that uh, hashtag the Me Too movement has slowed down a little bit. It used to be uh, 100 women can't be lying, you know, and then it became one woman can't lie, and that became I believe all women. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact <laughs> quote. And, and, and make the case why I actually think it should be everybody's to a degree, or certainly he should be in your rush, your rush more of, yeah. of faces as far as lines. Let me state this emphatically. Norm MacDonald is the most important voice in all of comedy today. Period. Bar none. <laughs> Him. Of course, you precious. Of course. Now, Norm is way funnier than me. No, it's it just it hurt to hear it. I, no, I, you're right. Up, but Norm is funnier than all of us. Let's he be is. Honest. Why is it so important? And we'll get into Norm's history if you haven't. A lot of people in our generation don't really appreciate just yeah. how, how much of a trailblazer he is. I think yeah. he's the most important comedic voice, honestly, since Lenny Bruce. If you look at his catalog and you look at the influence, you look at the impact and specific decisions. We've talked about kind of moments where the culture pivoted. Yeah. Norm was a catalyst for a lot of those. Yep. And if the yep. left, the progressive left silences Norm Macdonald successfully, the entire landscape of comedy changes forever. This is Comedians and Addicts getting porridge. Susan so says, says, I've never paid $25 for a garbanzo bean. <laughs> <laughs> it's porridge. It's porridge. You need to... Okay. Have you heard the one about the Gestapo who goes into the bar? Oh, okay. Bartender, good guy, good business. Tuesday, not the business. In Vox, the Gestapo. Do you think he heard us? Tell me! What does the Gestapo say? Shiza, 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 Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, thank you. Worked, good, uh, good editing, you, boys. You, you, good job, right? When you finally got uh, you, you got the German down before. When it started, remember, we started doing this. He was sounding like Adam Sandler for some reason. I can't <laughs> do German. I can't do German. Yeah, I can't yeah, do yeah, any accent. I hear you. Stop coming. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't want an, a, any garbanzo bean. <laughs> I don't want any garbanzo bean. Okay, so at one, <laughs> here's the thing. At one point, you'd find everyone in the industry to agree, but this out outrage this protest with Norm. It's been a long time brewing. Yeah. Norm has always been known for speaking truth to power, but lately he's kind of been under the radar, unfortunately for the left, but fortunately for us, pushing all of the right buttons. You see it here. Well, because I think she's the most corrupt uh, person that we've ever had in the White Clinton. House. I mean, Obviously, right? there's, there's so many um, uh, terrible things that she's done that we forget but there was one that, I don't know why this was swept under the rug, but you know, she went into the IRS uh, and, and looked at political enemies' um, tax returns. And, and something we'll continue on, he knows exactly why. But he, yeah. I don't know, I don't know uh, why. He knows exactly why. The guy has an unbelievable IQ. He's an actual genius. And here yeah, he is yeah. actually putting a finer point on what we know to be uh, completely true of comedy in the era of Trump. But he vocalizes it. He just, he crystallizes it perfectly. It's more difficult in, in the time of Trump for good comedians, and it's way easier for bad comedians, you know? <laughs> you don't have a worldview <laughs> by just saying you don't like Trump, you know what I mean? That doesn't count. Like, uh, you, can't, uh, you can't just say, I hate Trump, and, and that makes you a good person. And uh, the Democrats just can't say, I hate Trump, and, and that is, means they have CTV a position. So a you know, that's this. no yeah. position. Uh, so, so for, uh, for idiots, it's an easier time because uh, <laughs> you go, well, that guy's, uh, that guy's the idiot, not me. And what's, what's, what's funny, he's speaking this sort of, this generality, but yeah. okay, what kind of comedians do you think he's speaking about specifically, mm -hmm. if you mentally add it up? 
And at every turn, he continues to remind us that he is oh, just look. fundamentally you know, unfit for the job of president. Funny, he's myself. thinking that by acting crazy, he'll strengthen <laughs> Rex's hand with the negotiations. Myself, you know, it's I the old this, good cop, South bad African president routine. Thing. I understand it. That's why Hillary lost. A real president doesn't write books. Oh, or they write right, tweets. Baby. I don't know how that Jay Renault had this show. I thought he was uh, too busy kicking out white farmers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the left constantly talks about bravery. Norm just yeah. fired a shot over the bow of every single gatekeeper in the business in which he makes a living. Ballsy. <laughs> That's what this is about. The, the reason, and I, I actually mean the hashtag I'm with Norm is so important to me is because whether Norm McDonald admits it or not, and he probably never would, he's always been a person compelled to speak truth yeah. against corrupt authority. Yeah. Do you remember the reason he was fired from SNL? A lot of people, again, in this generation don't necessarily know. You remember that whole debacle? Yeah, he's one of my heroes for... Be Many reasons, but this was one of them. This was one, I remember as a kid, same thing for me. I was talking about my dad would, would videotape Letterman. So I yeah. remember seeing seeing an interview with Norm where he talked about this. It was because of Dan Olmeyer, I think is how it's pronounced. Unfortunately, he's not he's not with us anymore. He was the executive of NBC. He was buddies with OJ, and it, and he didn't want Norm to keep doing the OJ and Michael Jackson jokes. They warned him. Remember, they said, "Don't do the OJ and Michael yeah. Jackson jokes." They asked him not. These were the people yeah. with his paycheck. They said. Don't do this. And by the way, we all saw how that turned out. In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. <laughs> He became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. From the that is something right. that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case... <laughs> Look, the one guy's upset. Uh, 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 no, man, I ain't even about Simpson's that. You should be. have decided to skip hearings on DNA evidence and go right to trial. Asked why they did this, the lawyers replied, we want to get O.J. acquitted as speedily as possible so he can get back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> Michael Jackson, he, he said, I heard a quote where he said, he, he said, I don't care if uh, my child is a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. as long as it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna name it. He said he doesn't know what he's gonna name it. He said he said he thinks if it's a girl, he's gonna name it uh, Sharon. Really? Yeah. And if it's a boy, he's going to have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> I I love it. I love it. I love because he he's relentlessly beating a society over the head for stuff that we all know is true. Right. Yeah. It's like when no comic would make fun of Caitlyn Jenner being Woman of the Year. It, it's like I was just like. Someone! Yeah. That's, they, that's why yeah. you said, remember that, rea that reaction? That one guy in the car is like, oh, like what, you're offended? Racist. You're offended? Yeah. And then, I wonder if that guy nowadays looks back and goes, man, you know, I did kind of get screwed with the if I did it book. <laughs> I do look kind of dumb. <laughs> and here's something else. You know, the, re the reason I'm showing that these are long clips, I want this yeah. pounded into your skull as to how important Norm has been on the landscape of comedy and how people use the term fearless. I don't know if he's fearless. I don't know if he's afraid before he goes on these shows or not. But if we're going to, to use the term bravery, Norm is comedy bravery personified. He was banned from The View for a long time. You know why? Because of this joke he made about Bill Clinton being a murderer. I think we should get the homicide out of the White House and get like a, a, a fresh start because we don't want any more murderers. I think we should just go on to the next question. Oh. Who's murderers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, it's not, no, no, you're, not, you're not going to ask the next question. I thought it was a matter of record. Shut up. Shut up. Go. He just will not let it out of his And team. Barbara Walters, like, I thought you were supposed to be funny. Well, thanks, because, yeah, was... we're, we're relying on you. We spoke about Norm not long ago, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I, we were looking for that clip. We couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube about a year and a half ago. I remember it. we searched for about wow. three hours until we just had to say, okay, we're going to have to scrap this. It was scrubbed from YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Bill Clinton well, and this somebody. Is incredibly ballsy from a guy who, this industry, they have all the money and they have all the power. They, what do we do? The only thing that we can do really is just not watch. But what did Colin that's Kaepernick sacrifice? Exactly. This Nothing. guy has consistently at least been willing to sacrifice and, yeah. and lost his job at yep. the biggest, most hip comedy yeah. show on television at that, point in, at that point in time in the 90s. This guy, he went away for a long time. A lot of people, oh, what is Norm up to? Except in the world of comedy. He's been a comedian's comedian for a long time. The reason that hashtag I'm with Norm, which is what I'm calling, is so important, he's not just a comedian. He, he's a veritable authoritarianism weather stick. He is a comedian yeah. with the single most stellar track record for speaking, com using comedy uh, sh to shine a light on, on, yeah. on the real taboos of our time. You know, here, here, to simplify it, if Norm Macdonald is pushing back against something, that tells you that it's wrong. Whatever it may be, <laughs> he's yeah. almost always right. He's batting a thousand. He is. He is. <laughs> yeah, like if yeah. you go back in time, you start realizing how 
stupid we were in certain points in history where we would go along with nonsense. Right. Well, here's, and here's the best part, too. I know that we'll, you'll, you'll appreciate particularly. You, not so much. But, yeah. you know, <laughs> unlike Samantha B., <laughs> unlike Seth Meyers, Norm speaks not, not just through outrage, not through protests, not through bumping elbows with the right politicians at correspondence dinners every single year, but through funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's why for decades, comedians yeah. have unilateral. Uh, they, they've comp they, there is almost, you know, people use the term consensus. As far as, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. consensus doesn't determine science, but consensus when it comes to a comedian, it's very, very hard to get on comedy. And Norm, from those who practice comedy, they unilaterally agree he's, he's as good as anyone has ever been. To this day, I've never interviewed anybody like Norm MacDonald. Very talented actor. <laughs> Nobody funnier. Ladies and gentlemen, Norm MacDonald. And now you have today's gaggle of yeah. non-comedian comedians. They're all coming for him. It shows us who they, this is why this is so important, the norms. It shows us exactly who they are, and it shows us where the real cultural censorship lies. I'm typically not in the business of hashtags or, or movements in the same way that a lot of people on the right are, but I would ask everyone to comment below, tweet, Instagram, Norm, that you're with him. You don't have to be hashtagging with Norm, but if he's playing in your city, go see him. Watch his show. Just let him see that you support him, because right now he's being surrounded by people in this industry who are letting him know that he has to apologize, who are letting him know that people, Jimmy Fallon talking about people coming and crying for his Me Too comments. Uh, so I whatever. need, I, I, it is important that he see that you guys are out there. And I know he'll probably play it off and, and he'll probably be embarrassed by the support. But let me restate this here. If the left successfully silences Norm MacDonald in, in any capacity, everything could be lost. Why? Because this right now to me is the most egregious, blatant example of the left taking someone out for using their words. Worse, taking a comedian out for using his words. Worse, taking a comedian out specifically for using his words against them. The leftist mob kneecapping Norm Macdonald is, is, is petrifying to me because in the past, you know, I've taken people into the back room and roughed them up in the shadows, right? Like like you were dropped by uh, your, I know I was dropped by my manager and agent. Was it your manager? Manager and agent for me saying that uh, there's no trans kids and hormone blockers are bad. And my agent was like, if you apologize publicly, uh, we'll, we'll keep you at CAA. I'm like, are you intentionally trying to be biblical? Yeah. <laughs> I have the same thing. Like the world for my soul. Are you doing that <laughs> on purpose? Biblical? It was a guy named Eli. And he called me. I swear to <laughs> you, nice. he called me. He's like, I don't know if you're doing like a cold bear thing with being so right. And I'm like, you, you, you can't comprehend someone being moderately, traditionally yeah. conservative like myself. Like, I'm not right. even that far right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my agent's name was Judas. <laughs> Oh. It should have been a sign. The yeah. writing was on the wall. Yeah. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. The reason I think this is so important with Norm is that it used to be like, you know, behind the scenes, your manager, your agent would drop you. You yeah. wouldn't be invited to the dinners, right? You got excluded from all the talk shows. But now, if, if they successfully carry out this execution against Norm, that's exactly what it is. It's the equivalent to a public execution. Right in the middle of the street. It's yeah. just the left. They're, they're so scared. Often we, we say, if they would be so bold, or if this person's so scared, often scared people make bold moves yeah. because they're cowards. Yep. And even worse when they're in a mob. And that's what you see with the left. It shows us that the left is so scared they'll do anything to silence criticism, even if you see the mild comments from Norm Macdonald and me too. It isn't about shining a light on the left's modus operandi anymore. We've already done that. I know you've already done that. Norm's already done that. They don't care. They don't care. This is, they're not even trying to keep it a secret. That's what's so startling to me. This, Norm Macdonald, what they're doing right now is about punishment. It's about the left trying to make a public example of him. And when it comes to the free speech fight, when it comes to the, the, the direction I want to see for comedy, when it comes to the gaggle of late night hosts, comedians, executives, producers, their media brethren and their symbiotic leftist hate mob and the blatant attempt to silence any dissent, this is for me the line in the sand because this is somebody who has consistently risked it all. He has consistently been right. He was consistently praised for it until all of a sudden he's done it with the wrong people. This is why hashtag I'm with Norm. Uh, the, the Gestapo did nothing. He was very pleasant and uh, clearly had the moral superiority. And very brave. He was very brave. But that's not even funny though. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, I would say subscribe, hit the notification bell, or watch one of these videos playing in a box that we've personally uploaded and programmed for your viewing pleasure. The problem is now, in today's day and age on YouTube in 2018, any of those three things that you do, any of those three buttons that you click will take you directly to a Seth Meyers video. So stay here and join Mug... Get off of here. Go to loudwithcutter.com slash It's the only safe place you can go and join.